Hello, I am Peter John Ross, the producer and co-writer of Refractory. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Just swell. It's getting cold for this time of year. Actually, leading scientists say that we're going through a global warming trend. It's affecting everything from coastlines to the polar ice caps. Indeed. Well, now that we're here, how do you plan to proceed? I plan to be a good girl. No more trouble for me. Time is a commodity. It's something that can be taken away or given as a gift. You don't say. Well, then I am the richest girl alive because I've got nothing but time. Kim, this is how this works. You have to take your meds. You have to make some progress or you and I will grow old together in this place. You've got quite the head start on me, Dr. Joe. Then tell me about your mother. Kim, I can help you. We have to begin somewhere. You've already seen every other doctor here. Maybe I don't need help. That's not what your mother says. Is she qualified to make some sort of medical diagnosis? She's your mother. So? Why did you do it? How often do you get impulses? Your constant defiance will not serve you well. Let's see how two more weeks in solitary might straighten you out. I just got out. Well, you're not giving me any choice, are you? I guess not. Nurse. Take her back to solitary room three. There's nothing wrong with me. Then you should have talked. See you in two weeks.
Refractory was a chance for me to work with Jane Mowder, who's a local actress who's really good, and also Megan Pillar, who I've been working with for several years. I really enjoyed making something more of a drama, something a little bit more adult contemporary. Uh, we worked with DP, Gil Whitney. We shot at a, an office and we basically decked everything out. Production designer Lena Holler had created uh, on our studio set the padded room which was just basically made of cardboard and pillow stuffing and we set that up in our studio and the way we shot it with the crane, uh, you know, you frame it a certain way and nobody can really tell that it wasn't really in an insane asylum. <laughs>